welcome everybody to East Islip Lanes. Happy Valentine's Day. It's Sunday, February 14th, and we are in for a final five shootout for our house shot tournament. And let's meet our final five. Mr. Dave Cern from Long Beach, New York is up first. Dave has a 163 club average. He's getting 51 pins. Up next, Mr. Derek Brandy from Whitestone, New York. Derek has a 179 club average and he's getting 36 pins. And in the middle, Mr. Fred Jankowski from Brooklyn, New York. Fred has a 145 club average and he's getting 67 pins. And up next, from West Haven, Connecticut, Mr. Dave Patrizello. Dave has a 156 club average and he's getting 57 pins. And last but not least, from Patrick, New York, Mr. Scott Teitler. Scott has a 188 club average and he's getting 28 pins. Okay, Boa, shake hands and let's get this match rolling. We are in for a great final sh five shootout. It's been high scores out here. We know it's been cold outside, but the action here at East Isop has been nothing short of fantastic. And we had a great crowd here today. 110 bowlers packed the bowling center on Valentine's Day. And first prize today will be 1,000 seconds. 500, third 350, four 300, and fifth is 250. Okay, again, they're bowling on the house shot. You see Brunswick's banner up there. They are the feature sponsor of the LIGDT and the official ball. First up, Mr. Fred Jankowski. You can see he's a member of the UBA. Here comes Fred's first shot, and he rips the rack. What a great shot by Fred Jankowski. Now, what's interesting here, folks, out of the five bowlers, only one has a title, and that is Mr. Derek Brandy, who has two titles. Everybody else is looking for their first title and an invitation into the LIGT Tournament of Champions coming up in two weeks. Dave Sorin, first shot, 10 in the pit. Now, Dave, he is bowling for his first time in the finals as he got seated as the leader of the one o'clock squad. Dave shot an incredible 899 handicap series to lead the one o'clock squad. Believe it or not, in this house shot tournament, there was no 300 game. Scott Tyler, though, we'll see in a moment, shot the 299. And there is Mr. Dave Patrizello. Dave striking, way to go. All right, here comes Derek Brandy. He goes a little high, leaves a stone four pin. Derek from Whitestone, as I said earlier, the only two titles in this final five shootout. He has been a member since 2011, so he's been a member for five years and has won an AMF Plainview in South Levittown Lanes. Here comes Mr. Brandy, spare, well done. Derek has already got his entry in for the Tournament of Champions in two weeks. That is a don't miss event at Farmingdale Lanes. Farmingdale Lanes. All right, here's going to be our first look at Mr. Scott Tyler. Scott shot an 866 in the one o'clock squad to lead it. That's not lead it, but uh, make the finals. Scott has the highest average here in the final shootout. 188, getting the least amount of pins, 28. Scott, a great bowler from Petro, New York. Here comes Scotty, holds pocket, 10 in the pit. Great shot for Scott Tytler. So great start to our, our final five shootout. Four of the five bowlers have struck, and the other one, Derek, put the 10 in the pit, but ten, put the ball in the pocket, but left the four pin. All right, let's see how many double. Okay, Dave Sorin looking for title number one. This one twirling it up, spinning it up, rips the rack and leaves the 7-10. What a bad break for David. Oh, how frustrating that's got to be to David. All right, David. Looking for the seventh pin. And he misses both. So we have our first open of the match. Now, David with 51 pins and handicap is getting the third most. All right, here comes Brooklyn Fred. Brooklyn Fred. Oh, he goes in the pocket and leaves almost the 8-10. Knocks the 8 out, gets the 10-pin. Here comes Derek Brandy looking for his first strike. 
And it's down the lane, coming back, and he spins it and leaves now a uh, shaken eight pin. All right, let's see if Brooklyn Fred can get this bear. And ready, Freddy. Way to go, Fred. Good shot, Fred. So, under the pressure, Fred makes the spare. All right, Derek Randy looking for a second consecutive spare, and this one rolls in perfectly. Well done, Derek. All right, on the left will be David, on the right, Scott. David Preciosello. Comes down with his brother Anthony and his dad from all the way from West Stephen, Connecticut. All right, this one looks pretty good. Ten in the pit. Way to go. Way to go. David P. Looking good. Starts off with a double, looking for his first title. He's 34 years old. Here comes Scott Tyler. Scotty, 47 years old, has one daughter, 13 years old. Scotty is a forklift operator. Okay, here comes Scott. Is he gonna hold pocket? Ten in the pit for Scott. Way to go. These bowlers are making this game look easy. L-I-G-B-T. Normally running sports shop tournaments, but once a month we let everybody have some fun and bowl on the house shot. And there ain't no easier house shot than East Islip Lanes. Here comes Dave Soren ripping the rack. He's got 10 for a strike. Good comeback for David after a bad break, 7-10 on a pocket shot. All right, here comes Ready Freddy. Fred Jankowski bowls at a show place. Ten in the pit for Fred. Uh, he bowls at a show place in Staten Island. He's a single gentleman, no titles. He's had two third place finishes. Oh man, Derek Brandy finally getting on the strike board with a strike in the third frame. Great shot. All right, two bowlers have started out with doubles. That's Dave on the right and Scott on the left. It's a car salesman. He has two kids, 11 year old and a six year old. And here he goes, twisting it up. 10 in the pit, way to go for David. Three for three. Let's see if Scott can stay with him. Scott Diver taking his time on the approach. Scott's been a member since 2013, but here's the shocker. This is his first time ever in a final shootout for the LIGBT. And Scott is a really good bowler. Here he comes up on the approach, nice and slow. Ten in the pit, way to go, Scotty. So we've got two bowlers starting out with the front three. Dave Sorin now. Looking for a double. Last time he was on right lane, he left a 7-10 split. Bad break. Always a pleasure to come out East East Islip Lanes. They're always a great host. We thank uh, Mike Gibbiser and his staff who did a great job. Gabe Surin leaving a 10 pin. Having trouble carrying on the right lane. All right, here comes Ready Freddy. Ready, Freddy, 10 in the pit. So, Fred, that's a double, so Fred's put all four shots in the pocket. Here comes Dave looking for a spare, twisting it up, and he makes it perfectly. Well done, David. LIGBT will be off next week on Sunday, February 21st, and then we come back for the biggest weekend in our eight-year history. It's the Super Tournament of Farmingdale Lanes. First prize is 5,000, second 2,500. Top 10 are guaranteed, no less than 500. And there's Derek Brandy striking for a big double for Derek. 
Entry fee is $75. Mm -hmm. We have two spots on Friday night, February 26th. That's at 7 and 9. Then two more spots on Saturday night, February 27th, 6 and 8. And then Sunday we have three squads, 11, 1 and 3. And there's uh, David going Jersey for four in a row. I'd rather be lucky than good. Good shot, David. David's home center is Nutmeg Lanes. And he, new member here, just joined the LIGBT this year with his brother. <laughs> We're going to be giving at the Super Tournament away 21 balls. The high handicap game each game for those balls that go in the high game optional pot. Seven squads, three balls a game, 21 balls. It's a don't miss event. That's Farmingdale Lanes, February 26th, 7th and 28th. Okay, Scott Tyler looking for his fourth consecutive strike in a row. This one's way wide, and he paid for it. He went way wide, Scott, which means it hooked too early. So he's the four, six, seven. All right, Dave Soren. Dave Soren loves the left lane. Ten in the pit. Here comes Scott, and he gets the two, gets the wood, smart play. All right, ready, Freddie Jankowski. 8.32 he shot at 1 o'clock to make the finals, 8.32. Fred Jankowski with a triple and he has got the halftime lead. Bobby, you got that? All right, here comes Derek Randy on a double. Number three in a row. Way to go, Derek. Derek is a real estate appraisal. Fraser. He's a single gentleman, and his home bowling center is AMF Garden City. All right, here comes David P. He's the only guy with the first four. He strikes here. He's him and Fred would be tied for the lead after five frames. He leaves the nine pin. So actually. Him. Fred's going to be ahead one pin, one pin over David after five frames if he converts the spare. Okay, Scotty taking his time. Scott threw the ball a little wide last time which cost him an open. He left the 4 6 seven. Let's see if he can get this a little straighter. Whoa! He left a 10-pin on that shot. Good adjustment for him. All right, David P. Big spare here. And he's got it. Way to go. His brother and dad are in the back. Root them on. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you for doing it. Good score. Good spare for Scotty. Let's take, let's take a look at the... Scores after five frames. All right, and you can see Fred's got 167 with a triple. Dave P's got 176 with a spare. And Dave, who's got 127 with a strike. Derek, 135 with a triple. And Scotty, 
123 with a spare. And Dave Soren doubles up while we were away. Let's get back to the action. Fred Jankowski, who has... This one's going to be a little wide, but comes up 10 in the pitch. Not bad for a 145 bowler. Come on, Derek. Derek, what a great shot for Derek Brandy. So Derek bowling like the multi-champion he is, four in a row. Red knows, although he's got the lead midway, he cannot take his foot off the pedal. These guys are good bowlers under this condition. Here comes Dave. Come on, Dave. Ten in the pit. Way to go, Dave. He's back on the strike string. All right, Scott Tyler, he's going into his sixth frame. He will what, what was the question? Show place in, show place in, in uh, Staten Island. Here comes Scotty looking good. Oh, again he leaves that 10 pin. Having trouble with the 10. Scotty getting a little frustrated. <laughs> All right, here comes Dave Soren. Here comes Dave Soren slipping up. This one going Jersey, and he gets it, Dave Soren. If you go a little wide on this shot, it's going to hit the dry spot. And after six hours of bowling today, those lanes are getting a little spotty. All right, here comes Scott, and he twists it up, backing it up, and makes it. Good shot for Scott. All right, Derek Brandy now. Derek on four in a row, looking for number five. Ten in the pit for five in a row. Way to go, Derek. All right, Fred, looking for fifth in a row. This one's going Jersey. And he gets it, Jersey! Lucky Freddy. Way to go, Fred. Now, Fred has a story that people are probably rooting a little harder for him. Fred just went through a battle with leukemia. Lost a lot of weight and stopped bowling, but he is back. Better than ever. Here, Here comes Scott. Ten in the pit, so Scotty finally gets the ten pin down. Yeah. All right. David P. Up in the seventh frame. This will be a double. David going at a 279 pace. Uh oh, this one's gonna go Jersey. He misses the head pin right. He misses the head pin left. Leaves the one three. All right, ready, ready. Pulling at a 280 clip. Went Jersey on his last shot. Let's see if he can get back. Oh, he leaves a stone nine pin, but it comes down. So Fred. Wow. Here comes Dave. Makes the spare. Good spare for David. So we have finished frame seven. Now going into frame eight. Fred's already struck in the eighth frame. Now Dave Stern looking for his fourth in a row. Great shot for Dave Soren. Oh, no, no, no. Sitting over here. Don't jinx it. 
Dave, you're in the way. And you're right in the camera. Okay, here comes oh. Dave Capuzzo. He gets an eight count. David was bowling great. Hasn't struck in the last two frames. Here comes Derek Brandy, who's hotter than a firecracker. Oh, he leaves the four pin, so that ends Derek's str string of strikes at five in a row. All right. David Prejuzulo, he is up on the left, looking to make the spare now. All over the spare. Well done for David. David's only been bowling a few months. And he certainly looks good out there. Good spare for Mr. Brandy. Tightler. This is his eighth frame. Scotty working on a strike. Hoping for a double. This one looks pretty good. Mixes it up for a strike. There you go. Way to go. Well done for Scott. All right. Foundation ninth frame. Now Dave Cern has four in a row. Big shot here to keep Fred on. Oh, he strikes for a trip four pin, and he gets number five. Five in a row. So Derek Brandy has five in a row. Dave Soren has had five in a row. Fred Jankowski right now is working on six in a row as he heads it into his ninth frame. Ready, throwing it good. Oh, he goes high, leaves the 4 6, and that changes the chemistry of the match. Wow. Big ninth frame error on Fred. Good. Good try, Fred. He gets the wood smartly. He now has 216 in the ninth. Can still go out for 246 scratch, which would put him, even if he doesn't double in the tenth, he could shoot over 300 with handicap. All right, Derek Brandy. Bobby. Bobby. No, tell me what's going on. Great shot, Derek Brandy strikes. Bobby, why would they have to put people on night? I don't understand. All I see is her when I do my ball. Okay, Dave Petruzzillo looking for a strike in the ninth. Oh, what a break! Gets the strike, knocks the six pin out, and he has got a working foundation. Way to go. So, with that strike, he is only eight pins. He is nine pins behind Fred. Nine pins behind Fred. It's got to be nine pins behind Fred. Okay, Scott Tyler looking for a triple here in the ninth. Coming up, rips the rack. Wait a good shot. All right, we are going into the 10th frame now. This is it's an incredible finish. Dave Soren could go out for 246 scratch. He gets 51 pins. So if he can finish with 297 with his handicap, that would force Freddie to mark in the 10. Here comes his first shot. 10 in the pit, way to go David. So he is making Fred mark in the 10th. 
Way to go. Here comes Ready Freddy. Oh, he leaves. All right, he has to make the spare. But what about the suit? Oh, yes, yes, spare at least. All right. Let me get three over here. Randy could go out to 294. All right, so here's the big shot here. Oh, you shouldn't have that in the dark. He gets it instead. Oh, Fred misses it and has made this wide open. He shoots 292, a great game. Fred opens in the ninth and 10th, and you know what? Soren takes the lead with this shot. Dave Soren looking for his first LIGBT title. Here's the shot. This one looks pretty good if it holds pocket. And it does for a strike. He takes the lead. Now, David Petruzzello, 247. 57 pins. So if David Petruzzello throws a double, he will go ahead of Dave Sorn and win the tournament. David, what a way to bowl. He has struck from the fifth frame on. This is his final ball in the tenth frame. He lays it a little short. It's going to hold pocket. And it does. What a great finish for Dave Soren. Finishes up with 246 scratch, 297 with his handicap. That's five pins better than Fred. So the bed, best Fred can do is second. All right. Derek Brandy. Oh. On the right. Dave Petruzzolo is on the left. He, need, he needs a double to win the title. $1,000 and an invitation to the LIGBT Tournament of Champions. Oh, Ooh, he goes high and gets nine. So, does get it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here comes Derek Brandy. Ten in the pit for Derek. 58. 50, 294. Yeah, right, right. So Derek Brandy can strike out to come in second. Dave Soren has got the title. Right there on the check. And we've got a new LIGBT title holder. All right, David P. Bowen Gray makes the spare. All right, this is for second place. This is for second place. He needs a strike here. He gets it. Now, if he strikes, it's 294 to 294. It's hard. It's hard. All right, here's the story. David and Derek are tied going into the final shot for second place. So Dave Cern has got the $1,000. Let's see. Can he get all 10? This will... And he gets 10 for 294 total. So this 284. Oh. I never could figure it out. So that will finish him third place. I am wrong. So with his 227, he shoots 284. That'll be good for third. Here comes Derek Randy. Second place? No. 284, 294. I screwed up too. All right. Great bowling. 258 scratch. I might have to keep bowling. <laughs> so this is unbelievable match. Dave Soren is going to come at first with 297. Second, Derek. Brandy, 294 for 500. Third, just two pins behind that, is Fred Jankowski, 292. Here comes Scotty. Scotty rips the rack. He's got a shaking 10 pin. David. David. Hold this. Take the trophy. And Scotty takes the spare, and there is our winner, first time champion, Mr. Dave Sorn from Long Beach, New York, wins $1,000. Congratulations, Dave. And you can see Scott finishes up. Here are your final scores. First place, 
Dave Soren, 246 scratch, 297 handicap. Second, Derek Brandy, 258 scratch, 294 handicap. For second, third was with a 225 scratch, 292. Worth 350 is Mr. Fred Jankowski. Fourth was. Fourth was. Who? Dave Petruzzolo. Dave shoots 284. He earns 300. And last but not least, Scott Teitler. He finishes up with 250 and worth $250. Thank you for joining us. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. See you in a couple weeks over at Farmingdale Lanes for the Super Tournament. Good night, everybody.